Guys, prices are going up. I took the liberty of pre-ordering all sorts of equipment at the old 2020 prices to try to pass on those savings to you, but if you don't order in the pre-season sale, you wait until June, you wait until July, later on in the year, you're gonna be paying more money for the same thing. So get your order in early. I only have a limited quantity of the different pieces of equipment available. Lock it in now, when it shows up in the spring, we can ship it to you. You save money, you have it when you need it. It's a win-win situation. Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. I am excited to share with you. I know a lot of you guys have been clamoring for it, wondering when's it gonna start. When can I order my tiller, my brush crusher, my grapple? my flail mower, all the above. All those spring and summer chores are gonna be coming before we know it. Now is the time to start getting that equipment ordered. So I'm gonna go through all the attachments that are gonna be included in the great big spring preseason sale, what the details are, what kind of discounts you get, what you have to do to get your order going now. But we've ordered a whole bunch of product from different manufacturers that are out there for your tillers and your grapples and, and the mowers and the whole gamut, you know. But we've ordered a limited quantity. That's a challenge every year. Every season is what's gonna be the good seller? What are folks gonna be calling and asking for this year? And it's, that's a tough thing to do, especially when you're putting tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars out there to take a guess on what folks are actually gonna buy. So I run this preseason sale to help kind of gauge what we need to really have ordered if we need to order more of it. Hopefully we haven't short ordered ourselves, but the goal in my opinion will be to sell out, you know, by the time it all gets here and not have to sell anymore after that to fill every order, right? That's a perfect world, it's not gonna happen, but. I would encourage you, if you're gonna order through me, through your local dealer, through anybody else, get your order in early if you can because there's no guarantee there's gonna be more available or more available at least in a timely manner down the road. So how this will work, similar to the preseason snow sale that I run every July, August, that kind of thing. So pay attention if you're in the market for snow removal equipment, best time of year to get that is place your order in July or August. You'll get a discount similar to the spring preseason sale as well. But you get 5% off anything that you order at that time. So all of your spring equipment that you want to get, you just got to put down a deposit. It's going to secure your order at that point, And then the balance won't be due until I get the inventory in here and we can ship it out to you. Speaking of shipping, we ship all the time. The cheapest way I want you to keep in mind is shipping to a commercial location that has a loading dock or like an official receiving department with a forklift at the ready. It has to be semi-accessible, okay? As in not sort of accessible, but semi-truck accessible to be able to get a full length semi in and out of there, turned around, backed up and unloaded and on its way right away. That means your farm is not gonna qualify, your dentist office is not gonna qualify, your restaurant's not gonna qualify. It's gotta be like an industrial type of location. So if you don't wanna do that, you can also have it held at the freight terminal and pick it up there for typically around the same price. Sometimes it's a $25 uh, upcharge, but the most expensive option is to have it ship right to your house. However, that is the most convenient option as well for a lot of you folks. Know that a lift gate is an option for you to offload your equipment at your house. However, it's an additional $150 upcharge and all you folks that are buying equipment, you all have tractors with front end loaders on it. So just use your tractor with your loader, find a way to get it off the back of the semi and save that $150. Now I hate to sound like a salesman, but I gotta do it because Demand has been incredibly high this entire year. Supply has been harder and harder to get with quarantines and safety precautions that are in place. And fabricators, manufacturers, myself included, now that I'm kind of in that same whole facet, you know, with the stump bucket, but it's hard to get material. I ordered enough material recently to make 200 stump buckets. I did that for a couple of reasons. One, steel prices continue to go up and up and up. That means I was able to at least lock in my pricing for a certain period of time, roughly 200 stump buckets is what I'll be able to get out of that material. And number two, simply getting the raw steel is so challenging that we had to order it now. It's gonna be another few weeks before it even comes in and then we can start the fabrication process at that point. I know it's something that you guys don't really see on kind of the user end of things and I didn't really myself even being kind of sandwiched in the middle between the manufacturer over here, the end user here, well I'm right in the middle. So my eyes are being opened a little bit more and kind of seeing the challenges that they're going through trying to get that product out to you guys as fast as we possibly can. Now let's review what's included in the spring preseason sale. Let's start off with the ever popular grapple options out there. There's almost an unlimited amount of options. You got a lot of variety, anything from the brush crusher that'll fit your John Deere quick attach to your skid steer quick attach, including the mini grapples for your uh, subcompact tractors, whether that's a John Deere or a Kubota. Those are a great lightweight item that'll fit. You can get an electric version or a hydraulic version of that. 
If you want to stick with the hydraulic option of the grapple, check out Summit Hydraulics. They have a great diverter kit out there for subcompact and even compact tractors as well. You get 5% off with code GWT. Moving on to larger tractors like the 3 Series, the 4 Series, or your Grand El Kubotas, start to look at the WorkSaver heavy duty grapples out there, the ETG Series. They have a single claw or a double claw as well. I do want to mention a brand new Tar River grapple. I believe it's a claw grapple coming out, made out of AR400 steel. It's very lightweight, very strong steel. They're going to come in a 55 and a 66 inch variant. Look for these on the website. They're going to weigh in around the 200 pound mark, but very lightweight, great for subcompacts or even into compact size. Next up, let's talk about tillers. We're going to have some great options, both from Tar River and Rhino. You saw some videos I did recently on the Rhino Rebel tiller series. I ran a 72 inch on my John Deere 4066R. Gave you a good overview showing just the construction of it. Just pay attention to the physical weight of that tiller when you're comparing it to other um, tillers that are on the market in kind of the same uh, class, whether it's price range or width or category that you're looking at, because those Rhino tillers have so much steel in there. It's such thick steel. You can tell it's built really well. I mean, I'm tilling through anything and everything that's in its way with my 4066R. Those come in a 60 inch, a 72 inch, and an 84 inch variant. Now, if you're running a smaller tractor like a subcompact, a John Deere 1025R, maybe a two series tractor like a 2032R, I'd encourage you to check out the Tar River TXG series of tillers as well. I actually didn't get these last year at all. They had some supply chain issues just uh, related to the pandemic. So I kind of took the, the year off with them, but I ordered I think it was 60 tillers from them back in November. That way we could have them uh, by the time spring rolls around. These are one of the best values on the market for smaller machines. These tillers are gear drive. They've got a slip clutch, a five year gearbox warranty, just a fantastic piece of equipment and at a great price point as well. Again, all this information will be found over at goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so on to the stump bucket, the front hoe bucket, the poor man's backhoe. Again, check out the recent videos I did on that as well, but this is a really cool product. I'm super excited. This is my first product that I've actually had a hand in manufacturing. The stump wrecker is going to be the version for the John Deere quick attach and the skid steer quick attach. The lock and load is going to actually connect right to a pallet fort frame. So you're going to have some options there. Again, go to the website, but this is designed for smaller tractors up to 32 horsepower. I'm going to extend a 5% preseason uh, discount on this item as well, but I'm telling you, these are going to sell quickly. I've had just overwhelming amounts of uh, requests for this stump bucket here. The stump bucket is more than just digging out stumps. It's great for uh, digging holes to plant new trees or landscaping around your house or even popping out the stumps and the old shrubbery that you have around your house too. It's good for trenching. It's actually good for the stump removal too or even clearing saplings out for a new garden area, a new landscape bed, or even a food plot. Next up, let's talk about blades, all about them. The rear blades, the box blades, even your land levelers or land planes, everything kind of lumped in together there. I tell you, I used a land leveler for the first time last spring. It was in less than ideal conditions out of my hunting lease, kind of just regrading a road, uh, a gravel lane, I should say out there. It really has never had any um, stone or rock brought in, but it did a fantastic job. It, the learning curve for a land leveler is so, short. You just drop the darn thing down and you just drive forwards and you just go over as many passes as you need to to take the ruts out, to take the big divots out. One of the big reasons I really love the Tar River land levelers is the fact that they all include the scarifier teeth, those big ripper shanks that are on there. On a lot of the other manufacturers, you're not going to start to see those shanks until you get to some of their higher end, more heavy duty line, I guess, of land levelers. So for the price point that you get on these Tar River land levelers, including those shanks, you can get them in four foot and five foot and six foot. They're a really good value. And I'm telling you, if you're looking to grade a road or grade a drive, and that's the main purpose in looking for a, a leveler or a blade, they may cost a little bit more, but again, the learning curve is almost non-existent. You just drop it down and you go. It takes care of itself. Check out the video. We'll post some link about it so you can see what it's all about. Of course, box blades, rear blades are all included in the spring preseason sale as well. You have your options there. Take a look, see what will work for you. Go to goodworkstractors.com.
Next up, let's talk about cedars. Not these guys, but these guys. You're going to have some options as far as Tower River goes. You're going to have a no-till drill, which is a SAYA, S-A-Y-A. You're going to have a 48 and a 72-inch variant there. You're also going to have a type of cedar that you have to actually till or disc the ground. You have to prep the ground and then you can seed it after that. These are both going to be some of the most economical, most affordable cedars that are on the market. Maybe they're not designed for everyday commercial application, but they're designed for uh, the food plotter, maybe your hunt club, that kind of scenario where you're doing small acreage, relatively small acreage. You're not, you know, you're not doing full-time farming with a cedar like this, but very economical. However, there are gonna be a very limited number of these cedars available. Uh, just one of those high dollar items, you know, even though they are cheaper than other um, comparables that are on the market, they're still a high dollar item, so they're not a huge seller. So limited quantity, if you want one, I'd encourage you to get your order in soon. In some videos from last fall, you did see me using a Casco Verislice cedar as well. I've used that cedar there to overseed my lawn and of course to do my food plots. So you can use something like that for either application. If you're looking for a little bit, I don't know, maybe higher end cedar, it's gonna come at a lot higher price point as well, but the Casco is something we can order for you as well. Springtime is lawn roller season. We're gonna have again a limited number of 48, 60, and 72 inch lawn rollers available. Again, check out the videos I did last spring rolling my lawn. So after a whole winter of freezing and thawing and repeating that process over and over, you could have mold damage that occurs in early spring or even fall that you didn't get to as well. Spring is the best time of year to use that lawn roller and get your lawn in shape for mowing season and growing season. Again, we can ship these out to you. You're also welcome to always pick up items here with a scheduled appointment at Good Works Tractors in Kalamazoo, Michigan. We do have three point to thatchers available as well. The most common size being the 60 inch variant, slightly wider than your one series and your two series tractors. It's gonna match up with the width of a, a three series tractor. So these dethatchers are a really great, lightweight and relatively inexpensive tool that can do a lot of different tasks for you. You know, it can collect the debris, it can collect the sticks, the leaves, the material that's in your lawn left over from the spring or in the fall for cleanup as well. It's also, of course, great for dethatching if you need to do that, or even scarifying your lawn if you want to seed or overseed after that. These are excellent for cleaning up your lawn, all the sticks, the debris that have fallen over the course of wintertime. Great for dethatching as well, as the name might suggest, but it's a great tool, very well, what's the best way to put this? It's not aggressive on your lawn. So if you think about a landscape rake, those are a very, very aggressive and damaging piece of equipment to use on your lawn. These dethatchers, on the other hand, only weigh about 50 pounds. You can pick them up with one hand, that's the intent. Not to go deep down into your, your lawn, into your dirt, just to kind of scuff up or scarify the surface of it, collect a, a little bit of thatch, collect those leaves, the branches, the debris that's there, pile it up and push it where you want to. Additionally, some folks have used these to even um, groom out horse arenas or lightly resurfaced driveways. So there's a lot of applications you can use this piece of equipment for. Again, it's not designed to be heavy duty. If you back into a tree accidentally, you're gonna break this thing. It's made to be used in wide open spaces to be used in lightweight applications, but check them out. They're a really handy attachment to have at an affordable price. I do wanna mention a couple other items you can get 5% off on as well, not just during the preseason sale, but any time of year. However, they are items you would think about, I guess, when you're thinking of spring and summertime as well. Number one is gonna be the Protero Bagger. This is a PTO-driven bagger, mounts to your three-point hitch on your tractor, comes with a collection boot, the, everything you need there, but it's a dump from the seat system. You get 5% off, you order directly at Protero, 5% off with the code GWT. The other item is gonna be the Sweep All Sweepster. This is a commercial grade lawn sweeper. It's PTO driven, or you can get a self-powered with a Honda Power Pack on there too, if you wanna go that route, but this is made for tractors. It could be uh, pulled behind your gator or some other utility vehicle as well, but you order that through me here at Good Works Tractors, but you do get 5% off with code GWT. So if you're looking for a great way to clean up not only grass clippings or leaves, but maybe uh, pine cones or walnuts or construction debris or goose poop or apples, the list goes on and on and on. But this commercial grade sweeper, I'm telling you, it's gonna do a laundry list of items for you. It's not made just for the homeowner, okay? It's a very, very expensive piece of equipment, but if you're looking to maybe get into a side business, this could be a really unique opportunity for you without much competition. All right, guys, well, you know what? That gives you a good list there. All sorts of tasks, all sorts of projects that you might have coming up in the spring or the summer. Now is the time to act. I, I hate having to tell folks, 
I'm out of stock. I'm not going to have it when they call in the spring room in the summer. So get your order in now. Goodworkstractors.com, 5% off. We'll get your deposit. We'll get you locked in. You'll be ready to go. If you like what you see here, give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button right down below. You'll get notifications of all sorts of cool videos coming up in the future and read through that description right underneath the video. If you want to go to Goodworks Tractors, the link is down there. If you want to see what other places you can get 5% off with code GWT, it's right down below. So check it out. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.